All right, everybody, welcome back to the farm. Uh, another busy day as always. I don't think we have non-busy, non-busy days anymore. Non-busy, that sounds really strange the way I say that. So, pretty exciting day. Today, we have baby chicks on the way. We have also, uh, I guess sadly, sold our buck. Um, so he'll be getting sold this afternoon with one of our uh, weathers. So they'll, they'll be going this afternoon. It's like a light mist. That was a strange noise. Uh, it is like a light mist outside right now. So that's always fun because we need to move the chickens. We need to clean up some cow poop in the field because we're actually doing a bonfire tonight with some friends, having them over. And we need to move the chickens. Like I said, two seconds ago, we need to move them. I'll show you guys kind of what they did, which is awesome. They did exactly what I wanted them to do, which is clean up this field, get all the poop out of it, all the cow poop out of it, and they did an amazing job. So I'll, we'll hop right into it, and then I'll show you guys that. It's like legit raining right now, so I might have to kind of put the camera in a better position before it gets too wet. Uh, it's not supposed to be raining this morning. It's supposed to be done last night, and it is definitely raining now. So I'm going to finish up the animal chores, and then I'll get back with you guys. Okay, that was uh, pretty random. It started raining pretty hard there for a few minutes, and it wasn't supposed to be raining at all. So we're currently knocking out a few different projects. I forgot that we had some soup for the piggies, so they'll be happy about that. But as you can see, my lovely wife is in the field cleaning up the cow poop. So we're trying to just clean up some. We're gonna let the chickens do it, but we're having some friends over tonight. So we're gonna try to clean up the field a little bit and get rid of some of that poop and probably just throw it in with the chickens and then they can spread it around in, in one condensed area. So after I give them the soup, we'll go and we'll start moving the chickens back a little bit. We're gonna move them back towards the barn and then uh, we'll keep going from there. Yes, I <laughs> not clip. Do not leave that clip in. Oh, that clip's leave getting left in. <laughs> no, it's not. All right. So we're changing out collars. We need to get a collar on. What's his name? What's the one? Jack? <laughs> Peter. Peter, that's it. Peter, Jack. Peter's going to the bathroom. And he is going to a new home. Yep. Him and Freddie. Him and Freddie. Where's Freddie? Or as I like to call him, Jay-Z. Where's Freddie? Uh, Freddy! Oh dear. He's somewhere. I saw him this morning. There he is. Ah, oh, there he is. Woo! Stinky. This is the buck. He's getting gone. And that's Peter. The white and black one. <laughs> There's a lot of white and black ones. He's the bigger one. It has mud all over him. Ah, oh, yeah. The one that's just pooping. That's his sister. That's Peter. He doesn't have a collar. Where's licorice? Licorice! We're gonna get you a new collar, bud. Wait. Plus, I think the skin too small for him, anyways. Yeah. I agree. Him? Yeah. He doesn't have a collar on that one. He's about to have this. Oh, I didn't catch him. <laughs> Got him. Get the color? Yeah. 
I was thinking those could go back in there. You know? Yeah, they can. I didn't know I had extra. Probably did not have extra. Oh yeah, they even got really small. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna choke you out. Oh, bud. This is Peter. Hey, hi, Peter. Peter's going to a good home where he'll live his best life. Willow. Willow's going crazy in the background. Oh, yes, buddy. Oh, yes. So what should I do with them? Can I set them down for now or? Yeah. Okay. When they come, we'll catch them. I think that food will be fine. Yeah, we'll put a little food out. So as you guys can see, it's only been about an hour now and the chickens have completely spread all the poop we put in here. The chickens are incredible at spreading things. If you ever have like wood chips or something you're looking to spread in an area, it's great. You can throw them down in a big pile. The chickens will spread them out for you. And they're already going to town on the new poop that I put in here. So they'll start working on spreading that and they'll do all the work for me. So it's nice. It, it, it fertilizes my soil. It helps this grass grow. I'm always amazed like when I when I pick up the poop like underneath of it like there's this beautiful like brand new grass and stuff growing underneath of it and always I don't know it just always amazes me like what grows underneath of it so they're going to continue to work on that it's about lunchtime now so I'm going to grab some lunch and then after lunch we'll uh, start cleaning up the barn a little bit and get that project going hi buddy okay so it's been like a really weird weather day it was supposed to not rain at all today but it has rained uh, pretty hard this afternoon. I gotta pick up the stick. Um, and of course, I left the windows down in the vehicle after we moved the chickens this afternoon. So inside of the vehicle, completely wet, and I didn't pull it back into the carport, of course, because why would I? Because it wasn't supposed to rain anymore. So the inside of that soaking wet, I think, according now, at least looking at this horizon, it looks like it is done raining. We're supposed to be burning this tonight. We'll see how that goes. It's a little, a little wet. Um, so we're gonna do is we're gonna go down here. I'm not sure if the barn cleanout's gonna happen today, but it might. I need to clean some sticks out of the culvert. Everybody's up here relaxing in the barn since it's been raining. Uh, as you can see, I'll show you them real quick. Say hey, hi, everybody. Everybody's just chilling in here. Especially the cow. So what we'll do is we'll get lawnmower and I have a trailer here that actually works really well for picking up sticks and stuff. It's a little bit bigger. It is a soppy mess up here. So we'll get that. Well, you didn't have to get up, baby. Um, we'll get that going. Oh, I can't get that back. Uh, we'll get that going. Get the lawnmower out here. Hook that up. Go down here. Try to clean up this culvert out. There's another stick down there. Try to clean up the property a little bit. I gotta get the rest of these sticks. It's just a bunch of stuff to kind of pick up. I got some sticks out in the field too I need to grab. So a little bit of everything. So we'll knock these tasks out real quick while it's not raining. It's supposed to be done now. So hopefully knock on wood. All right, let's do this.
uh, a makeover basically. We're gonna paint the outside. That'll completely change. We're gonna redo the inside to make it flow a little bit better. I think for what he was using it for, I think it worked really well. Um, it looked like over here to my left, and you guys can't see it, but there were actually some uh, milking stalls for cows, um, stuff like that. Uh, a lot of it got tore out because there was just termites and stuff that had become like got in here and, and tore stuff up. Um, I built these paddocks back here behind me, or paddocks. Why well, do I keep wanting to say paddocks? Stalls. I built these stalls. Stalls. I built these stalls behind me when we. Uh, last year when we birthed, but we need to get this barn ready for the for the goats to give birth again this year. This is going to kind of all change. This is going to be kind of a tap room. That will potentially stay one stall. There's going to be a stall kind of behind where you are. There'll be, or actually, I think that changed now. I think the tap room is going to be over here, and these are actually going to still be stalls over here. So we're really going to work this whole thing. The other side, the lean-to side, will actually have doors on it. So I can actually close the entire barn in because that's one of the problems is, especially in the winter, like a, a breeze comes in and everything else. So I did have boards up here and it was very hard to see in here. So I have a really cool idea that I want to do with a, uh, with an outside motion detecting light, that, that solar powered. I want to kind of hook it up outside and then run it inside. So then when I come in, it cuts on. It is uh, an idea that I have. I, I, you can get them at Harbor Freight for like 20 bucks. So I'm like, bada bing, I'll do that. Buy one of those, see if it works. If it doesn't, eh, I'm out 20 bucks and I can use it somewhere else on the property not going to hurt me any. We're going to try to get this. Uh, I want to, I got a bunch of wood up here. I need to get down to, so there's a bunch of little things I, I feel like I could get because it, it's almost time. People are getting ready to be here before too long. So I need to start working on that once, once people start arriving. I know I can't talk sometimes. <laughs> uh. I got my bonfire all set up, ready to go. So once people start coming, I'll get her lit. Hopefully, uh, it's been, like I said, it's been raining on and off most of the day. So I'm hoping that since the stuff's dry enough and I took some dry stuff out of the barn, that it'll, it'll light right up. So I'll probably use a little bit of gas to get her going, but she should light right up. And I think somebody was gonna bring some pallets too. So once I get some pallets thrown on here, that should, this thing will take up like a, a uh, candlestick or a candle, I don't know, something like that. But, yep, we got all that stuff done. That'd be probably about all I get done out of the barn uh, for today. I might clean out some more tomorrow. We should have the baby chicks tomorrow too. So we'll have that. So we'll have them coming tomorrow. So that'll be fun and exciting because the girls always love that. And who doesn't love baby chicks? I think we got seven. I think we're only getting seven. So, because uh, we split some with my brother-in-law. So we'll get this thing lit here in a minute and get some chili and have some good times with friends.